So it's too late, you've procrastinated, and now, are you in trouble? Okay, so a quick video here today. This is, um, this is just answering a comment someone left on a video I made about procrastination in study. I put the link for it here in the video. I don't know where I'm pointing on the screen. I don't know how that works. Um, but this is for uh, Kiati, I think. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and Kiati's issue is she watched a video I made about procrastination and about the sense of guilt we have and how that emotion of guilt really is the cause of procrastination. So Kiari uh, watched the video and thought it was good and is going to try the techniques I talk about in, in terms of how to end procrastination forever, okay? And believe me, if you do what that video says, you will never procrastinate again when it comes to study or anything you, you decide. <coughs> but the question is, <coughs> excuse me, the question is, they're going to try the technique but they feel, Kelly feels that she may have waited too long or she's already procrastinated so much that she has missed out opportunities. Okay, this is for a PhD student. Okay, so this is for anybody really if it's applying for, to a PhD student. But to be honest, PhD students are some of the worst procrastinators out there. Okay, and if you're a PhD student watching this, you'll know what I mean by that, right? But, so the issue is, well, have I waited too long? Now, here is the really fascinating thing about this, and this is why I wanted to reply to this comment, because it's gonna help everybody, okay? It's about the procrastinator mind, okay? That voice that says, it's too late now, is a central element of the procrastination mindset. The voice that tells you not to study, or I can do it later on, okay? So watch that. I want you to become aware of that immediately. What you're going, you're, you're, you're changing from someone who used to procrastinate, I think you referred to yourself there as a chronic procrastinator, okay? Um, I think that's what you said. Yeah, chronic procrastinator. That's the old you. Now you are a post-procrastinator. You no longer do that, okay? That old way of, that whole language about it's too late now is not in your mentality anymore. It's not in your psyche. It doesn't, it's not in your vocabulary anymore. There is no too late, okay? There is only now, or what I will do next. The new mentality, the post-procrastinator lifestyle, is basically, I do things that are easy, and I do things that I know I can achieve. Doable things, not huge chunks of work, or huge to-do lists or sitting down and planning my study sessions for a week in advance and failing miserably to follow through with any of that, okay? It's only I make a decision when I'm gonna study and then I either do it or I don't do it, but I don't beat myself up about it and I certainly don't procrastinate anymore. But this whole thing of, um, you know, have I made too many mistakes in the past? No, absolutely not. And I'll tell you, from personal experience, I know that's true, okay? I went through something similar to that as well myself um, because I made the transition, as you are now, from procrastinator to post-procrastinator and there was a sense of a sort of an evaluation of what my life had been like beforehand when I was procrastinating and a lot of missed opportunities because make no mistake about it, procrastination does eat away at your life and it does take away opportunities. But the only issue with procrastination is the mindset itself, okay? Like, what I'm saying here is, it's okay for you because now you're over here. You're in the post-procrastination mind, uh, mindset, and you have no idea as of yet how productive you are going to be, okay? I'm talking like your mind is gonna be blown about how effective you're gonna be. Once you let, get rid of the old um, should, have to, uh, need to do this thing, and it's all about I choose to do this now, I either do it or I don't do it. There is no tomorrow, there is no later on, it's now or never. I show up when I'm gonna show up, 
when I say I'm going to show up because that helps me build the relationship of trust with myself. That's really the exciting part of all of this. But once you do get that down, and that's where the place you're living from, you become so more effective than you used to be. Your anxiety now is based on the person you used to be, who was ineffective, lied to themselves, probably a lot. And I'm not saying that personally about you, I'm saying that that's what that mindset is all about. It's all about lying to yourself about how much you're gonna do, failing to, failing to follow through, feeling guilty about it, and then beating yourself up about it, right? That's not a very effective way to live. It's not very productive, and it takes the fun out of life entirely. So you're going to start to trust yourself and you're going to become way more optimistic now because you have a totally new mindset, okay? What I would say is, watch my video a few times more, okay? And what I would say is, I have a book on this, okay? And if you haven't read it already, to really just, all you need to do is make sure you live from this place, okay? So the book I wrote is, um, if you want it, I'll send it to you. Um, you can get it on my website as well. It's like nine euros or something like that. But I will send it to you, no worries. Um, what I'm saying is, make sure that's where you're living from and all your problems are finished, okay? That's all you need to focus on. And the book takes you maybe a day day and a half to read it. What I usually tell students is, if they if they have time, it's the start of a semester or something, just read the book. To be honest, though, I tell them that even if it's coming up to an exam and they're still procrastinating, I say, okay, you need to solve the procrastination issue first, then everything's gonna be okay. So I would suggest that you read the book, okay? Or watch the videos or whatever, okay? But trust me, you're gonna be okay. Just a quick video, and hopefully it helps other people as well. Um, and I appreciate the comment um, and uh, yeah, I hope it helps. All right. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay. Take care.